what's going on everybody today we are going to do our first project in the new house so i think i mentioned that back here we were going to have to turn this into a parking lot for my girls since they all drive and we have five cars uh, my wife of course has claimed the garage so i'm not parking in there my truck will be out here somewhere and then my girls will be back here so let me show you what we're kind of thinking about so for starters we've got to take down that monstrosity i don't play basketball so i don't need it and then we are going to move a bunch of this dirt here, make a rectangle, and then where that fence line is, we'll, we'll make another rectangle. I've already ordered about, I think it's five yards of gravel that's gonna go in here, but I'm gonna have to move a lot of this dirt that's in here. We're gonna have to move it over back over there where I kind of showed you guys the other day where we've got a bit of a dip and you can kind of sort of see it there. I don't show, I'm not sure if it shows up on camera or not, and then this fence is actually gonna be coming down mostly. I'm gonna leave that one little section there so that I can put the garbage cans behind it, but the rest of it is gonna come down. Just met my neighbor that lives behind me back there and he says that that fence is mine. So that's also gonna come down at some point. And then I'm gonna do privacy with some arborvitaes uh, in between all of those beautiful trees. So lots of projects coming but for now we're going to concentrate on turning this into a parking lot for my girls so stay tuned all right, so first thing i want to do is i want to take down this pole it's going to take the basket off first but then i decided i think i'm just going to dig it out and then lay it down and then i can take it apart life is a winding road no telling where it goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights. That's not happening today. It's uh, we've got an excavator coming in tomorrow, and then I will probably use that to kind of push it over. But today is not gonna happen. Let me figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Taking the fence apart was a little bit more involved than I thought it was going to be, but it was fairly simple. The boards on the fence came apart pretty easily. Uh, that back fence is going to be a different animal just because of the screws. I'm going to have to take those off individually, but as you can see, these came off uh, without a whole lot of trouble. We will reuse some of these posts for some other projects, but the rest of the fence came down pretty easily. Posts we ended up having to do with the backhoe the following day, but it was a fairly easy job overall. But we get up and start from the ground. And I... All right, so far we have dug up this post. We took down that post. We got two more posts that I think I can reach with the excavator, but I got to break up that concrete right there because that sucker is heavy. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. down. That's how you get it done. And we can reuse this. Nice. I like reusing stuff. <laughs> So as I started doing this, I didn't realize how deep this pole had been dug into the ground and how much concrete. I was pretty happy for this little, little mini excavator. If it wasn't for that, I would have been here all day trying to take this thing down. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Try to break all that up with a sledgehammer because it's heavy enough without all that concrete and I can just leave that in there as fill. Ooh, that was, that was work. This excavator really was a godsend. I was able to dig all the trenches around where the parking pad was gonna be, but it also helped me get all these fence posts out. These are all six by six fence posts and they were dug in about three feet and they were full of concrete. So that really helped quite a bit. Trying to get straight lines with this thing was not as easy as I thought it was gonna be, but again, the mini excavator did a great job of helping to really dig these trenches deep enough to go all the way around. Also, the front of the mini excavator had 
that blade that really helped to move things around. The blade on the front didn't do a very good job of moving the clay because it was so compacted, but it did help to smooth things out and get things moving towards the back. Jumping from cliffs so high Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Towards the end of the day, this thing started giving me trouble. I thought I ran out of gas, actually diesel, which I had some gas, I just didn't have any diesel. And I went and got some. Turns out that it wasn't a gas problem, it was something else. Called Home Depot where I rented it and they told me that they were gonna send out a technician. Technician called me and said, hey, if you can get it started long enough to get up on the trailer, just take it back. So I got all this stuff done and now I'm on hold with Home Depot because the Kubota decided to die. So now I gotta wait till tomorrow for them to come out and uh, get a technician out here. So it is what it is, you know, best laid plans and gotta have equipment that works. What's up everybody? So today we are bringing out the big guns. And uh, yesterday that excavator died on me and it got a little bit annoying, but now I need to move a bunch of dirt. Turns out my buddy Dave, uh, who's a client and a good friend of mine, he is uh, letting me borrow his giant skid steer. So uh, this thing is probably overkill, to be honest with you. It's huge, but uh, we're gonna work with it today and uh, get that dirt moved. And you know, it's probably gonna take me longer to unload this thing than it is to actually use it in the backyard, but it'll be exactly what we need to do. So stay tuned. Crashing down. We get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down So the skid steer was way overkill for the space that we were working in. Uh, we ended up using the flat blade on the front of the skid steer for part of it and then realized that we weren't even able to get under the clay to actually pull it up. Luckily, the skid steer had this second bucket that has these teeth and those were able to get underneath and pull up a lot of that clay and get some things smoothed out. It was really hard to maneuver and it was tearing things up more than it was fixing it. So I ended up having to have my wife guide me all the way back once I got everything in there. My nephew running around and people not really paying attention, I really needed a second set of eyes to make sure that I didn't hurt anybody. But uh, we kept it safe and we were able to move quite a bit of dirt to the back and start filling in some of the unevenness in the backyard. There's a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for This is what we're left with. We've got all the trenches dug and then earlier today, Nancy, my wife and I went and got a bunch of crusher run 
the crush run is going to go in there to just compact and actually give it a nice level space for the four by sixes which is going to be the border before we put in all of the rock so we, we bought some uh pea gravel that kind of matches the aggregate on the driveway so it just it's going to be temporary like i said but you know we need something that's going to hold it in because we are going to have cars driving over all of this trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let's figure out where Alright folks, well we finished up putting all of the crusher into the trenches what I'm gonna do now is I've got some galvanized pipe that's pretty long. I used it to help level my uh, sand when I was doing my paver patio, and we're gonna use it to help level this crusher run. So uh, I need to return the skid steer, go get the pipe, and then we'll start doing that. And then we can put down the four by six. Sky's falling down. Sky's falling down. So this is how I'm gonna make sure that everything is level and nice and neat back here. I am taking this galvanized pipe and we're going to lay it down and then I also have I think that's a three or a four foot level and I'm just going to put that down and uh, once you level it then we're just going to take my tamper and we'll just tamp it all down and we should be good. One thing to keep in mind that side right there that's the edge of the driveway that needs to match up with that side over there so as long as both sides are level then we should be in good shape. all these timbers lined up level and in both directions both long ways and sideways was a lot of work the, the first one was really hard because we had to move a bunch of clay but once we got going it got a little bit easier uh, we also miscalculated a little bit and thought that we needed to be a higher than we were and I didn't think I had enough crusher but it turns out that I needed to bury the first timber to the level of the driveway and that fixed the problem of thinking that we didn't have enough crusher. So fitting everything together was a lot of work but it was definitely worth it. We put in 12 inch spikes and then we used a bunch of lag bolts to secure the timbers together and that seemed to do the trick. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights guys are wondering what I'm using I'm using these lag bolts there are six inch lag bolts the threaded on the bottom flat on here and there are hex tops so basically I'm pre-drilling most of it goes all the way in and I'm just grabbing with that last little bit just hold everything together these are meant for the outside they're a quarter inch uh, by six inch and I mean I've used these before on my uh, box planters that I have at my other house and they work great so in case you're wondering this is what we use they're about 75 cents a piece. A little bit expensive, but they last forever. Highs. 
still I lost my mind And I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down We're so tired we forgot to turn the camera on. Laying all of this landscape fabric down was a lot more work than we thought it was going to be. It was a necessary step because you want to try and avoid as many weeds from coming up through the rocks as possible. But it was getting dark and we were tired, but we knew we needed to get it done. We were both pretty wasted at this point, but it was definitely fulfilling to get it all done. I, I really want to know, really want to know. I don't know how good the light is in here, but it looks pretty good. So we got all the landscape fabric in, we got everything tied down. So now we got to do is wait for the delivery tomorrow. And I'm hoping the dump truck driver is willing to come all the way back because I do not want to move five tons of pea gravel back here from the street. So we'll see. Stay tuned. We'll be back tomorrow. High, even if the sky is falling down. need more but uh, I'm gonna spread this out and see what's left and then I guess we'll go from there moving this pea gravel was way harder than I thought it was gonna be you couldn't get good traction it was rolling around quite a bit but we got it done luckily my brother-in-law Scott came over and helped me move some things around it was definitely a back and shoulder workout but in the end you'll see it looks pretty good and I Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Well folks, as you can see We finished our parking lot project uh, Over here in the back There's a bit of a trench there And then there's also one that runs across the back there I'm gonna get some compost or some dirt and we're gonna put some shrubs and make it look really nice But overall that's pretty much done. I only put one Timber height because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring all the dirt to be flush with the top of that and back here is Our next project put in a bunch of dirt to try and level it all out and uh, you know that that's gonna be a very large project I'm gonna do a bunch of compost and sand to level it all out I'm going to try and get one of those mini skid steers to work on this. Um, they used to be called Prodigies. I think there's another name for them now, but it's one of those that you stand up on. And that's going to help me to work on getting all that leveled out and then get some grass put down there. Uh, you know, it's that time of the year in the spring where it's probably not the best time for me to put seed, but I've got to do something back there because or else the only thing that's going to grow is weeds. In the fall will probably be the big project, especially when I have to do cool season. Um, I'm gonna have to do cool season grasses back here. The front I'm still debating on if I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do up there. We've got a bunch of landscaping to do around the house. That's gonna be over the next several weeks, and then I'm also gonna take down all those shrubs, like I mentioned, up at the front because I've got to paint the house, and I'm not gonna be able to do that with those there. So lots of projects to come. If you want to check out what I'm working on on the inside, I haven't posted anything out there yet, but it's coming. I'm going to put that on a different YouTube channel, which is my Dino Evangelista YouTube channel. And I'm going to probably post a video about what the house looks like on the inside. I'll let you guys know when that happens over the next few days. But that's where I'm going to do all of my inside projects that are coming. Like I have a master suite that I've got to do. There's all kinds of stuff that's going to happen on the inside. So stay tuned for all of that. And I'll let you know when those happen.
But uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment if you have any questions or any comments about how I did this. Uh, and then if I've earned your subscription, don't forget to hit that subscription button and hit that bell if you want to be notified of future videos. So stay tuned. Lots to come. We will see you on the next one.